your next laptop could last 24 hours on a charge, maybe more, and download your email even while it sleeps, because it'll stay connected to LTE at all times. That's at least the Qualcomm has its way. Today, the company showed off the first laptops running Windows 10 on its Snapdragon 835 CPU, which you'll see in a bunch of Android phones like the Galaxy Note 8 and Galaxy S8. We first heard of these laptops back at Computex, but now we have actual devices. One's from HP, it's called the NVX2. It's a detachable 2-in-1 with a folio-style keyboard, similar to that of the Surface Pro. And ASUS's device, the Nova Go, is more of a standard convertible. HP's laptop will launch in March, but we still don't have a price, and we're still waiting on a release date for ASUS. So we're going to see a lot of thin, flexible 2-in-1s coming very, very soon. And these devices won't just work on Wi-Fi, they'll also work on LTE with eSIMs, which are SIMs that are built into the laptop so you don't have to worry about SIM cards. They're telling us that we can expect up to 25 hours of battery life. HP is claiming more like 20 or 700 hours in standby mode, while ASUS is claiming a similar battery estimate. Both of them, though, are running Windows 10 S. They'll have options to switch, but it's a shame that we're not seeing them come with full Windows out of the box. So you're going to be a little hobbled until you upgrade, which we recommend you do. We're also told these laptops are going to stay really cool because it'll have a thermal advantage because it's a smaller chip. We don't have pricing. Qualcomm's predicting between $600 and $800. We'll see how close that is. We'll hopefully find that out in the spring. For Laptop Mag, I'm Andrew E. Friedman.